How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to my What I'm Liking and Not So Much on Wednesday. And if you guys would like to stick around and see what my likes are and maybe my not likes are, keep on watching. Okay, so first of all, I'm sure most of you guys are noticing my hair. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, I got a cut which I'm glad I did. I mean, obviously I do keep my long length. I don't really like short hair on me. Just don't. I mean, I don't, I don't think I'd be that person that would get it cut real short. And I did get it colored, uh, professionally this time because, uh, it kind of reminds me of like why I like to get it done in a hair salon versus doing it home. I don't know, like especially I got the two-tone coloring in. I'm not sure how well. It might look lighter on camera because the way my lights are, but I do have caramel highlights. I have like chocolate caramel. Maybe you can see with the light, the other light turned off for a moment. I don't know if you can see it too well, but yeah, I'm pretty happy. Right now, I didn't do too much. I washed my hair yesterday and I just pulled it back like I do with my... Uh, that one of my ponytails like I just sleep with it and it does its own curls and everything and I did add a uh, curl cream in and everything so I didn't really fully do a whole lot to it so yeah I'm really liking it and then I just realized I didn't have my rings on and I felt naked without my rings but I didn't feel like going in the room to go get them because I'm running into time here because I'm feeling a little later than I usually do and I have dinner to do so let's get into the products my likes and not likes okay these two things are samples that I had and I as I, I as I as oh my god I almost sound like I'm saying and an ass <laughs> pardon me okay so while I was using them I did find that I was liking them uh, this one here it's like because mm, it's a pricey product that you get and it's the uh, Luna sleeping night oil Sunday Riley and it has that blue color to it you probably see it has a nice glass jar it's, in, it's a blue color it's uh, retinol ester plus blue tansy or something like that and it gave me five capsules to use like five to use each night and you know what i have to say i was really liking it i felt like it was doing a little extra something because uh, when i get up in the morning my skin was looking pretty pretty nice and i did like it will i purchase i don't know because the price is up there but for my skincare i do like to splurge more than i do my makeup uh so it's a possibility i might the only thing i didn't like and if anybody does use this or has used it or tried it it had a f f whatever distinct smell that i wasn't really keen on so somebody let me know if that's what thirst has the other item i had a sample of was the Shiseido uh, Altman Power Infusing Concentrate and it was just in a little packet like this. This actually felt really nice too. It was really velvety smooth feeling. I think I only got two maybe three tries and I did like it. It did feel nice. I did put my makeup. My makeup when you put this on especially in the morning uh, that's kind of what I was doing was I was using this in the morning time. It did make my makeup look a little more flawless or a little more smoother. It was it was pretty nice. So it will I purchase it again I don't know it is pricey uh, it would be something I would think on I would rather have a deluxe sample or I could use it a little bit more and kind of get a little more feel for it so update on the brush I had done a demonstration on this brush here from eco tools where it's you know a nice cleansing brush you can scrub along and and I, I like I like the way it feels in your hand, like the way they made it so you can hold it like this and it works nice in that whole range. It does clean my face. I did like it for that. However, it is doing what I expected it to do where the hairs, the hair, these things here are coming out. The bristles are slowly, they do slowly come out. I mean, there's like quite a few now that I'm seeing 
I'm not sure how well you guys will see them, but there's quite a few of them coming up. That's the downside of this. So I might try to see if I can find another one similar to this, maybe in the same price range. Might be a little bit more. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can find something similar uh, if you guys were interested in this. Again, you do pay pay for what you get because it was like five dollars so i don't feel it's bad for the price um because obviously you're not going to keep it forever eventually you'd have to get rid of it anyway because of the brush head you know eventually eventually you'd have to get rid of it anyway so i don't know there's two ways to look at it but uh, i i like it and i don't like it i bought these i think i did share these in a haul with you guys the yes to coconut hydrating restore cleansing wipes I love these things here. I did buy one pack and then you got the other one like 50% off in Rite Aid at the time. I already went through the other pack, so this is my second one. And I love these. These are great. I put, I usually cleanse my face first, depending, um, especially like if I'm wearing makeup. Like tonight, I'll do a, my oil cleanser or one of my cleansers to remove my makeup. And then I'll go in with that to kind of uh, double check to make sure everything comes off. And here's a cloth I was using earlier because when I was doing my makeup, they are nice. They stretch. They're nice and thick. That's what I like about them. They're really nice and thick. So I would highly recommend trying out some of their palettes, uh, depending on which ones you want to try. Because they have different ones. They have the cucumber ones. They have the coconut ones. Uh, I believe they have a tomato something one maybe I can't quite remember charcoal one maybe or something but this I'm definitely gonna repurchase these I really liked them this is disappointing for me to say that is the Vera Wang Embrace Rhodes, Rosebuds and Vanilla it's a fine fragrance mist and I got it in Walmart right there it is it does smell amazing it smells wonderful i love it i love it i love it but i mean it, yeah it smells great but it only lasts for so long and then it fades away and that's disappointing because i mean for one it's vera wang even from bath and body works lasts longer than this did and this was i, I even my uh what was it i got a Nicki minaj uh body spray in walmart that even lasts longer. A lot of those last longer than this did. And all oh, the scent smells great. It's disappointing. I'm liking it for the scent. It smells great, refreshing. Oh, it's just wonderful. It's very floral, fresh scent. I love it. But not so much because it doesn't last. It's like within the hour, if even, maybe 30 minutes. It's like I don't really smell it on me. And then the last thing in the skincare fragrance skin all that kind of stuff uh list is the uh garnier skin active the gentle sulfate free cleanser it gently foams to remove oil impurities and makeup for soft healthy looking skin yes i do really like this stuff it's a nice big tub container there is 13 and a half 13.5 fluid ounces in here and it has no sulfates oil soap alcohol fragrance there's none of that i don't feel like it dries out my skin or anything like that i use this a good bit lately to remove my makeup that's this is the cleanser i've been using and it's a really nice creamy uh substance it looks like that and yeah it just as you can see it melts right in to the skin and it doesn't really have much of any kind of scent which you wouldn't want it to it will turn into a creamy it, it just it removes really nice don't let it get into your eyes it will burn it does tell you on there not to anyway it doesn't say it's for the eyes so you would have to do two separate things for that and i found that out because by mistakenly when i was cleansing my face some did get my eyes <sighs> this product is considered skincare and makeup because it's like primer sunblock gosh i'm trying to think and this is from the zo health skin uh, Zen Abaji. It's called the Eclipse Sun Sunscreen and a Primer Broad Spectrum SPF of 30. And it is tinted. I like it that the bottle, you twist it and the thing comes popping up. It, uh, like that's what I use. So you can see there's a tint to it. We'll put it here. 
and it, it glides on really nice, really smooth. Um, you know, of course, it does have some dimethicone in it, so you can feel that part for the smooth smoothness of it. But boy, is it a nice primer plus your sunblock. It's really nice. And then the foundation, I think I'm going to share this in my la my last What I'm Like, Not So Much. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint uh, with hyaluronic acid. Oh my gosh, I really like this stuff. Mind you, it is more light to medium coverage, so you know, just be aware of that. You can build it up, but I do feel it's more prone to somebody that has more dry skin, combination of dry skin. Somebody with oily skin, I don't think they're going to like it as much. Could be wrong, you know, I mean, especially if you're somebody really oily, I don't think you would, but definitely um, somebody that has dry skin or combination dry skin or anything like that, is really going to like this foundation. And my concealer I've been using a good bit is my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. This is one of my favorite ones from Maybelline. I really like this one. It does do really good heavy duty coverage uh, under the eyes. One of my eyeshadow palettes that I've been pulling out a good bit lately and putting it with some of them, I, I've either used it by itself or I've used it in with uh, a look I'm doing, you know, some kind of a look I'm doing. And it is the Little Mini Lorac Pro Matte Palette. It's just this little mini, little mini. And this is such a great little mini palette to have, especially if you like mattes or you just need some of them extra colors, you know, for uh, some of your looks or anything. So speaking of Lorac, now, I do and did record a video, I just haven't uploaded it, but I wasn't liking the outcome of the video because I was doing a whole review swatch and everything on these items here that I'm going to show you. If you guys still want to see, you can let me know. Uh, at this point, by the time this video goes up, I hope to have it on my blog and I'll just put a link to my blog down below and you can just go and check it out there for the swatches and everything. If you'd just rather that, that's completely fine. I did pick up the Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, what is it called? Uh, Dead, Dead Men Tell, Dead Men Tell No Tells set. I did pick up the whole set pretty much. I think there's like several lipsticks. I actually have a lipstick on its way coming and I did pick up two, which I'm wearing one of them now. I'm actually, my eye looks from this palette, my face, my blush, my highlight that you see bling in there is from this palette, or well, from the blush and whatever palette. I, I love it. I love, there's many reasons why I love this palette. Number one, I am a huge Pirates of the Caribbean fan. Number two, I love Lorac themselves. I love their eyeshadows. Um, I've always just really enjoyed and, you know, collector in me. So, I feel like those are the three main things of the reason of why somebody would want to pick up these items is the fact that maybe they're you know pirates fan or a rock fan or just the collector in them those are the three factors i think that will play the most because you know it's not gonna be for everybody the color scheme in here might not be for everybody it has some warm tones in it, but it has a lot more cooler tones. So that's going to be another thing. If you like more warm tones, I don't think you'll like this palette. If it doesn't matter to you, you might like this palette. And then plus if you're a Pirates fan, Lorac fan, collector, whatever. Um, but if you do like cool, you know, the cool tones and everything. Yeah, I must come with a, one of the Lorac's eyeliners, the front of the line pro eyeliner, and it's in a black. This is really, really nice. It glides on really nice. I mean, super nice. And they are retractable. I was like, yes, here. A little bit of a glare there because the palette itself does have a nice, um, like stars and, you know, that kind of an, a look to it. Uh, but there is some really pretty colors like the pop of blue there. It does have some shimmers and mattes. Um, there is one that, like Cursed, has some glitter particles in it, but I didn't find no problems with it falling out or anything. It's like it almost doesn't even exist when it goes on. Black Pearl is that really pretty duochrome, like blue shift to it. 
and the quality is there. They do kick up a lot, but if you have had Lorac, you know how they kick up. They can kick up a good bit. Here's the cute little drawer that you can put your little blush palette in. It snaps shut, which I think is nice because then you can take this whole thing with you if you want to somewhere. And all you have to do is pull this open, which I've been leaving mine in there, and the blush highlighter palette. This is what everybody's going to want to have. I feel anyway, if you're somebody that loves, you know, your blushes and highlights and everything. Um, I mean, it's super, super cute, super cute, you know, and I like the little sleeve thing. It has like some of the moon on there, like the, the way the moon goes from just partial to full moon and everything like the top rows, like highlights, bottom rows, blushes, which, but this here to me is like highlight because, and I do have it on my cheeks, but there, I mean, seriously, that's, that's, that's highlight to me, you know? So if you, if anything, this would be the star of the whole thing. This, I would, and I think everybody would go nuts over. I mean, ugh, like they're the blush in the middle here, Caribbean. Oh my goodness. It is beautiful, 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 beautiful color. Right there. Really pretty. And then I actually used this as my bronzer. Now it can be used as blush. But for light skin color like mine, I used it more as a bronzer. Which right there, if you can see a little bit. Two lips and I have one on the way. <laughs> I forget what the other one is that's on its way. You get one side that is a lipstick and then the other side's a gloss. And the two I grabbed is uh, Me Hardy's, which that's the one I have on right now. And then this one's Sparrow, which Sparrow is sold out at Ulta. It went pretty quick, but no surprise because it's like that grayish mauve color that a lot of people like. This is the one I have on right now, Me Hardy's. I love Lorac's lipsticks and lip glosses too. Uh, so I already was hoping this was going to be the familiar or familiar quality of them. Now the packaging, you know, some people, I mean, yeah, it's plastic. It's, it's kind of chintzy, but I don't mind. I'm not really bothered. I I love the smell. They smell like vanilla cupcakes. I love their lipstick. So this is Me Hardy's. This is the lipstick here. And it's kind of a rose tone to it. And the lip gloss is on the other end, which there is, I didn't peel it off, but there is a mirror there. I don't really know how you'd see too well with that. I don't know. But, and the, they smell like vanilla cupcakes too. And there is the lip gloss on top. So you can use it by itself, the lip gloss, by itself, the lipstick, or put them together, whichever way, because you can see their lip gloss is pretty pigmented. Jack Sparrow, I had on another video not long ago, and I can't remember which video it was now, but it is that grayish mauve coloring. And it's the one that kind of sold out quick, which no surprise. There is the lipstick. Now this is so cool. It, the lip gloss is duochrome. Can you see the duochrome in there? Oh, again, you can wear them separately or by themselves. Oh, just love it. And that's the other thing. Remember, they're limited edition, so thing to keep in mind. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. That make me so happy. And I just appreciate that very much. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can come join me each week. Uh, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. But do not forget to hit the bell. So that will notify you and inform you by email of when my new videos are uploaded and ready to go and watch. So make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.